the guitar that I have at my home that I practice on, the guitar that I write songs with, is a nylon string acoustic guitar. You know, the, the, the biggest riffs are written on that guitar there, and it's like I've got, I now know, like it can be 3 a.m. and sitting with the you know, dogs laying by the fireplace there and play some riff and just know what it's going to feel like at a festival show with us rocking that riff and 60,000 people jumping up and down. You know, like that was, that was absolutely the case with the, with the song Sleep Now in the Fire, where um, I came up with that riff and actually was jamming with some other, other friends of mine and stopped everything, got the little tape recorder, you know, for, well, it's just, that's going to be, that's going to be good later on, you know, and then, uh, um, and just knew from, you know, from the, the beginning when that, those first notes, when those notes came out that that was going to be one that was going to be a crowd pleaser down the line. This is the riff that just sort of occur, came out of the ether. <laughs> It's the A in octave. Pulling a bit on that. Basically just sort of holding that note through the, through the whole verse. We let the Jimmy Caster bunch riff roll on. Um, you know, Zach does the lyrics on top of it and then it drops back in as hugely as possible. Etc. Again, you want to bump up to 11 for this one, kids, because um, you're going to need some sustain. Uh, normally, this is one that's played on the arm of the homeless guitar, but I'm going to do my best with the old soul power. And I'll be accessing some feedback by getting right up against it and then using employing the old to toggle. A little something like this. <laughs> What's happening when my back is turned to you is that uh, I am um, with my right hand using the toggle switch and with my left hand manipulating the whammy bar to manipulate the, uh, the pitch of the feedback. That is what is happening. Strings are open. Your strings are basically open. You cross your fingers and you hope for a nice sweet note to do it on. <laughs> The first riff of the song is just the uh, descending tension builder. And then the verse continues quite simply. Chocolate thunder occurs in this part. More chocolate. More thunder. The second half of the verse is just employ a muted string chukka technique thusly. Etc. For chukka flavor. It's down chuck. Yeah, you chose not to up chuck. The Sounds almost identical. You can chuck any way you want, really. It's not going to hold you back one way or the other. Chorus erupts with. Monkeys begin to laugh. This is the monkey laughter solo. Cats, there's, there's, there's one where the cat's being chased around the room. Yeah, but then the, the monkey's laughing is entirely different. 
I'm sort of the old McDonald's of, uh, right. we're in the primate house now, when it I comes see. to the monkeys laughing. And that is a, uh, we go to 11 because it's a guitar solo. The uh, wah-wah pedal is deployed. Um, the whammy bar is depressed to make the strings slack. And then they are, the little monkeys are slapped against the pickups while they're being wah-wahed. And rumor has it that... <laughs> Monkeys are satisfied, and I hope you are too.